I'm gonna go with the six. Kind of sound like I might be ripping it off just a little bit. Some goes. Nice hat. Mikey Dell asks, could you make a video about creating Radiohead inspired stuff? Maybe like OK Computer Style or whatever. Let's do it. How about Subterranean Homesick Alien? That's a good one. I'm not sure what key Subterranean Homesick Alien is in, but um, I'm gonna go with G. It sounds like it would be in G, I'm not sure, but anyway. I wanna go at the same tempo as I usually do. That's a, a pro tip if you're writing a song like your favorite artist. I would go with like the tempo first. So it's like a waltz. One, two, three, one, two, three. So we can go. I'm gonna go with the six. And then one of these. Or 16 times uh, for a change it's like a diminished maybe I don't know you guys tell me so it's a C major 7 right there but if you drop down to one fret half a fret half a step actually it's right there so those are also fun chords to do Now a quick disclaimer, a song like Subterranean Homesick Alien is very unique and distinct. I'm either going to write a song that's really far from that or really close to it, almost sounding exactly like it. Maybe, maybe, depending on your ears. But to me, I kind of sound like I might be ripping it off just a little bit. But I'd rather do that versus, you know, me getting comments like someone would leave a comment saying like, That doesn't sound like Beach House, that sounds like Linkin Park. But I have to take into consideration that maybe the only thing in their musical library is Linkin Park. So of course everything it's gonna sound like it. Vocal melody. It reminds me of Lucy in the Sky uh, with Diamonds by the Beatles. Da, 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 da. Of course we can, you know, bend it a little differently and, you know, kind of make it ours. For the drums, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. One, two, three, one, two, three. I'll introduce the notes to you one by one, starting with the hi-hats. Now the snare. Filling in all the spaces. Here's the kick. How about a feel? Some goes. Something like that. I'm gonna stick with that. Here's the final guitar track that I'm recording. It sounds plain right now, but I'm gonna add some effects in post-production. To make this effect sound really cool, I'm gonna add some delay and some reverb in post-production as well. My approach for the bass was just to keep it simple and consistent. There's this really cool electric piano sound called Whirly in Ableton 11. I'm going to end up adding some tremolo to this in post-production. Oh yeah, I'm going to be doing some live streams on Sunday, so hope to see you there. And now the final track. 